everyone. This is Jay and only Jay today. Oh man, I love when I end up just rhyming things. It makes me feel so good. Okay. I have a random topic for you today. Um, investing in a snack. <laughs> I know it's not usually my, I love to talk anything, mindset, language, awareness. That's my jam. That's what I love reflecting. Oh yes. But today I'm, I'm going more practical. Really? I'm going more practical. Um, Okay. So investing in a snack. I wrote that in my notes. I was like, you need to talk about this. I think that, um, if we, <laughs> if society were to invest in a snack here and there, they would be most likely consuming less extra bites, less, uh, mindlessly eating, Because I do think that mindful eating is a big part of success, actually. And while we were documenting our Tim Hortons um, menu uh, documentary, we realized, Alicia and I, that we were mindfully eating because everything was almost like more planned and more precise. So we would like make more of an effort to actually like when we were eating, we're like, okay, this is it because there's no more bites and there's no more whatever, right? Anyways, I remember why I decided that I wanted to talk to you guys about this um, because one day I was really hungry and it was about 3.45 p.m. So when it's 3.45 p.m., you have a decision to make, right? And you're hungry. Am I going to kind of power through until it's supper time? Um, And often when we're trying to lose weight and we're trying to aka cut calories because we're trying to be in a calorie deficit, we're like... This would be the moment where you're like, suffer through. That's what it is. You know, you, you, you're, you didn't plan for this snack. Don't eat. You know, that's basically what you would say to yourself to help you cut calories so that you can help your calorie deficit. And I think that you're not investing in the right spots by doing that. I think you should listen to your body. If your body is hungry at 3.45 p.m., investing in a snack, it could be literally 150 calories to like 300 calories, Okay. You grab a snack. I think this is upping your chances of not over consuming mindlessly at supper. I think this is upping your chances at not feeling miserable. And investing in a snack can mean a lot and can really help you. It's kind of ironic because I'm asking you to eat more ultimately, right? Than you had maybe planned. Yet it's going to help you to not binge in the pantry at 4.45 p.m. while you're waiting for supper to be ready. Yet it's going to help you not feel on a diet. I'm always about long term. And I truly believe in investing in a snack so that you don't lose your mind and go and consume hundreds and hundreds of calories because you were so hungry. And... I also think that it creates such a better relationship with your hunger cues. It's so weird to me that we're so afraid to not be able to eat when we're hungry when that's not the problem. If society was just eating when they were hungry, I am pretty sure we would have a healthier society right now. The thing is, is society is over consuming and eating when they are not hungry. That is what's happening with the epidemic of obesity. Okay. So I really believe that you deserve to eat when you're hungry. And I think investing in a snack is a very smart strategy to help your calorie deficit, to help the long-term successful game that you're playing. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but I guess, hey, why not? This is my podcast right now. And I wanted to talk about whatever, bring awareness to the table that I actually often have two snacks in the afternoon. I actually eat like eight times a day. That's like my way to like get through life. I just like love the action of having another time that I'm eating. Um, And so two snacks in the afternoon is not too much. Stop thinking that. Also, always look into the moments where you are overeating, not mindless, uh, mindlessly, not mindfully. Okay. So if you're like, man, I'd love to stop eating all the crackers in the pantry at 4 30 PM. Okay. Sorry. What you need to do is say, why am I doing that? Why am I eating all these things while you're so hungry? Why am I so hungry? Well, it's time for supper. Okay. But why can't you wait and why not invest 
in a snack so that you don't get to this point. If there's anything I've noticed is that everything is worse. <laughs> Making a proper decision, um, eating mindfully is just so much worse when I am starving. Like, it's like, I don't care about anything when I'm starving. When I'm starving, I don't care about like calories and my goals. I am hungry. And all I care about is fueling this basic human need that is hunger and eating. So I just wish that we were not so, I think society is struggling with timing of eating. We've been like almost scheduled by, I don't know who, but just by how society works is that like, it's like, okay, at this time you should be eating at this time. You should not be eating. So for example, well, don't eat at 4 PM. You're going to ruin your supper. Yeah, but I'm starving. I should be listening to my hunger cues. You also don't have to eat supper at 5 PM. You guys, you also don't have to eat supper with your family if you don't want to. Um, you also like, there's so like, I just feel like clearly the schedule that society has put for us at one point <laughs> has not really given us health and has not really helped us to listen to our hunger cues. When you really think about it, okay, it's like, well, I apparently I should be eating at 5 p.m. Yeah, well, apparently you should be eating at 3, 5, noon, 10 a.m., 6 a.m., and clearly we're all over consuming beyond what our body actually needs. That's why we're struggling with obesity right now because we're all over consuming when we're not hungry. We're eating when we're not hungry. We should, I'm going to say it again. We should not be worried about eating when we're hungry. We should start focusing on not eating when we're not hungry. That should be your main focus and not panicking when you're actually hungry of when is it time to eat right now? You're hungry. Now let's talk about hunger cues because there's also that part where society, especially when you have, um, when you have excess fat on your body and when you have not lived hunger for a long time, you've lost sight of what hunger feels like. Have that conversation with yourself. I don't know. I'm not saying this is you. I'm just saying, I'm just talking, talking to myself right now. Okay. But if you feel yourself in this conversation and you're like, well, de well, I often, or I am never, <laughs> sorry, I am never really hungry. I'm often bored or not full. So let me say this. Just because you're not busting open your pants and you're so full after a meal does not mean that you're hungry. Those are two separate feelings. Satisfaction, fullness, and hunger are three different things. You can be satisfied with your meal without feeling super full. You can feel hungry without being like full and satisfied. Like hunger is a feeling where you're like, you feel it. Like your body is telling you it's cr like, you don't have a high energy. Your, your belly is like, blah, 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 blah. like I am hungry. It is time to eat. Fullness feels like I am full right now. And satisfaction, honestly, for me, satisfaction feels like, you know what? I would restart my meal right now. Do you know how many times after eating my belt at Tim Hortons that I said to Alicia, I would literally eat another belt right now? Not because I'm hungry, because it was so delicious and I don't feel ridiculously full. <laughs> so it's like I would have room for one more. If I ate another belt, that would mean I would consume over 1,000 calories in that one sitting, clearly overeating past hunger just because I want to, just because it was delicious, not because I'm hungry. So I just want to think about all those different cues that your body is talking to you. And are you listening? 
And that's it. Honestly, I just want you to start with that awareness this week. And I think that can really help you. You don't have to do anything with this, <laughs> with this thought process, but I just feel like you deserve to create more awareness around your body and what it's telling you and listening to like, I have not been hungry in a very long time. Maybe you feel that way. Like at, when's the last time you felt hunger, not, not being full, real hunger. And when you feel hunger, it is time to eat. That's when it's time to eat. Not when you're no longer full. All right. So that I hope that this brings good awareness. You do you, you know this. I just love to bring conversations to the table. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. Goodbye.